Hello everybody, I am Jake from ZL Construction. So this is the first time we are doing a sharing on uh, on the web. Uh, and I think this is during this COVID period, we want to say thanks to the healthcare workers, but at the same time, we wish to dedicate some time for enrichment, especially for new homeowners to benefit from a contractor's perspective. And we aim to give some pointers and some tips to prepare yourself for your next home reno. So eventually, the bigger aim is of course to make a built were a better place and uh, better appreciation the scope of works and the pricing methodology. So this time round, uh, we are very privileged to be able to work on a three-room BTO and somewhere around Topayo Crest and as the name suggests, compact but mighty. So though the size may seem a bit smaller but uh, definitely there's a need a lot of things for us to share, a lot of takeaway. Alright, let's go. So this unit is a typical three-room BTO uh, issued by uh, HDB. So this unit does not come with any flooring, so it's bare concrete street. Uh, two bedrooms, a standard living and the dining, and a kitchen space as well as a service yard. So the total area is about 68 square meters, right? It's a comfortable space for a couple um, unit, right? So um, over here, what the owners have done and what we have uh, worked together collectively so from a perspective, this is looking from this area. Um, you can see that the whole flooring is very nicely done up with our marble flooring throughout. And there is also a four ceiling applied in the whole unit over here. And at the same time, there is a pelmet. This pelmet applies throughout the whole unit. That means in the living, dining, as well as the two rooms. And the pelmet, it's again, not a normal standard height. This is definitely more than 300 in height, all right? And there's a very smart usage of the different dining dimmable lights in the whole area will also service opening for the aircon. This is also important because uh, as for maintenance purpose, we need to be a bit mindful on this part. Next view, again, this is this view looking into the DB box down here. And you can see that the marble floor it accentuates throughout with nice skirting applied to the whole area for ceiling with your nice dimmable lights, ornamental dining lights right in front. Something peculiar is about this main door, right? Most of the time we can see the HDB veneer type of main doors, but this time around again, we painted a line with the same wall color as what you can see from the neighboring side to make sure that it looks consistent and amplify the effect of the space, the sense of space. Owners have a very good sense of furniture where they use nice pop color, um, uh, furniture so really to bring up the taste and the effect of the whole area then now looking to the kitchen area you can see again for ceiling but the entrance of the door is a very nice um, solid bifold door with walnut finish and mouse setting leco so this brings up a very um, sophisticated very colonial kind of feel and of course the client also purchased a very a uh, solid looking uh, side table and uh, to put at additional storage and display. You can see that the marble flooring, it's the orientation of it, it's uh, very well thought up. All of it follow a specific orientation. Next up to the master room and master room over here, what you see is actually a full height wardrobe. As the owners are very sophisticated, uh, well traveled, well groomed, very health conscious uh, couple. They required a very dedicated space for their workout. So in particular, the missus has requirement for Pilates and yoga. Also, that's the reason why we constructed a full height um, mirror doors. And these doors are specially created such that they are 21 mm thick as opposed to a standard 18 mm thick. And because we do not want to have any handles, we keep it to a 20 20 mm recessed groove. Of course, the downside is that you have a interval between for your handling, uh, as opposed to you know you're having a protruding handle where things are a bit more fluid. However, from uh, background research, we also realize that by having such handles, there's a very high chance of breakage. So it's a balance of aesthetics and uh, I would say practicality. Same thing, you can see the helmet height is applied over here. The whole four ceiling are also applied over here. And this time, again, the marble orientation is a bit slightly different. Okay? 
Right, over here, uh, we can see that the study room is also added with a custom carpentry. We did it right on top here. And uh, we wanted to match the color with the loose stated study table that they have purchased. And if you noted, right, even the study, sorry, the main toilet doors, the toilet doors in bedroom doors, they are synchronized in the walnut color so that the whole unit is synchronized and it looks very consistent. Uh, to the whole end finish of the look. So this is again a lot of deliberate attempt to synchronize and to ensure that the whole look is adhered to a specific theme. This one, the bedroom 2, uh, is actually function as a sleeping room over here. So you can see the bed is placed over here. Many a times people will want to fill in the void too fill up the void over here but in this case the client actually think that well it's actually quite nice to have a little bedside table and with the color resting in and we want to maximize the space it turned out to be quite interesting and it turned out to be functional as well the pelmet the four ceiling are all also applied through the whole unit and skirting and the marble flooring so if you do like the kind of marble uh, we actually listed down the partners who did this uh, supplier who did this and uh, we can also discuss further how eventually we can take this to your new the two toilets uh, toilets are the next area next space that you spend a whole chunk of your time so we invested a lot of time to curate the correct look so all the wall and the floor areas they're all being overlaid with new tiles and again, the corner unit over here, it's in the master toilet. This is the master and this is the common, right? You can see that uh, some little intricate details over here that the master toilet is a dual sliding unit. That means it's two fixed glass and it's two sliding door to form a full enclosed area for water tightness. As for the common toilet, it's one fixed glass, but this is not a normal fixed glass. It is actually a black smoke glass. So to look consistent with the whole look, if you remember the DB doors that was being changed, they are also of a smoke effect. And simple touches by adding acrylic on the top actually diffuses the light. So the whole unit, this does not look like HDB anymore. It will bring up the overall look, the outlook has enhanced, the atmosphere, the lighting, especially with the cove lighting, smart uses of the cove lighting, the whole space is transformed to something that is really more premium feel already. Back to the kitchen, you can see the marble consistently goes through the whole unit over here. And something notable is that all the wall tiles are overlaid. All the wall tiles are being overlaid in a matte finish, uh, which decreases the chance of oil stains, fingerprints throughout. This whole concept is also applied on the laminates that you can see here. This is a kind of special laminate. Again, we'll put forth the, the uh, series on our link below. This is a nano coated finish, which again decreases the chance of uh, fingerprints, oil stains, and simple knocks on tip. On the top here is a kind of quartz slab cut where you have consistent and very seamless flow of the grain all throughout the whole unit, right? Uh, in the kitchen here has also four ceiling then in the flooring itself you can see that marble continues throughout so because marble are usually slight porous so for it to be installed on the kitchen the yard area especially so we need um, more treatment more sealant to ensure that uh, the protection against oil spills water is definitely more protective and in the yard area you can see that uh, a little interesting uh, concept is to make a little latch here. Uh, it doubles out as a space to sit, of course, but also and act as a little shield to keep all the laundry basket. So it has a taste, has a classiness built in in the service yard area. And this is what we have to share in the short uh, session. So once again, I'm Jake from ZL Construction. We are here to make the building industry a better place. So do follow us at ZL Construction or our IG ZLC underscore SG. If you have any questions or any new interesting case study, anything that you would like to check in with us, please feel free to WhatsApp me directly or drop in an email to us. That's all for now. Thank you. Be safe. Stay at home and take care, people. Bye-bye.